Hello. Once again, we'd like to thank you for all your support for Top of Cruise Now. In 2015, you're about to see a video of what we did in 2015 on our college bus tour. Like we attended the White House, took the kids to the NFL PA Association, and we went and visited many, many great college institutions. Once again, it's more than just football for us. We're trying to help get these kids exposed. Our goal is to get them in college. Over the last five years, we've taken kids on these college bus tours, which have resulted in 40 kids receiving athletic scholarships. So we do need your support. We are 501c3. We do have a charitable organization. And you can go to our website, www.topofcruisenow.com, for more information. Once again, thank you, and we really appreciate your support. Have a great day. Y'all know me. I'm Coach AG. Uh, this is Dre and Florence. Uh, this is Cleo Lemon. This is Joe Williams. Uh, and and more, most important people you need to know is George Green and Mr. Mr. Irvin George. They will be uh, the security for, for the trip. We also have Mr. Weaver that's going to help out with everything that we need as well. Georgia Tech is going to be the first stop, the guys that are getting off participating. Uh, you know, you make sure you go out and put your best foot forward, go through all the drills. Uh, make sure you're in the front of the line in all the drills. Coaches watch all those details, want to see who the leaders are. Don't get in the, la in the back of the line, any of the drills. Make sure you're up front, paying attention, getting all the directions you need. This, this bus tour is for you guys to make a name for yourself. If you currently have two or three offers, you want to leave on, you want to go back home with 10 to 12 offers. If you have no offers, you want to get one. So this bus tour is for you to take advantage of your future. That's why we're here. Good things will happen. That's the same, that's the same attitude you got to have going into every camp. Go out, ball out, good things will happen. All right? We'll be talking back and forth with the coaches. Say you can't do something. Because you might be this right now. Being this right now doesn't mean squat. It's about the journey. It's about going from A to Z. But you got to do it. You got to do it. So everybody's saying what their strengths are. We'll see. Never let anybody tell you you, do nothing. you can't do anything. You can't. You live in the dream. You can do it. You can do it. You want something different? You gotta go after it. You gotta change behavior. You gotta change attitude. You gotta change the way you talk.
and, and, and the player's decisions, and thank you again for the back mark. Uh, business decision a lot of times is based on money. When you talk about money and financial decisions, we're kind of jumping around as the business of football, when you get an agent, those type of things. But this is kind of just like the financial breakdown of, of bonuses, or this when you get into the, uh, the round by round. So very important. The NFL, the commissioner, they protect that shield, and our guy on our floor and our whole staff, we defend the players in the collective bargaining agreement. So that's what that is. We work together for all the things that you guys see and hear about, we work together for the collective bargaining we do everything from ours. So now, there's uh, OTAs going on. Our advocates, our player advocates, are out on the road right now making sure all the teams uh, abide by a certain amount of hours. There's no offense, is there any coaches? Um, our wages, I'm not going to go into it too much, but the wages, so everything in the CBA, everybody, how, how many people have heard of the salary cap? All right, everybody hears about the salary cap and all that stuff. And it's great, it went up about $10 million in the last couple of years, which means there's more money, there's more money being spent on, on the players. Um, the conditions, that's a big thing, was our player safety. So going to the CBA, player safety was one of the big issues. Again, you saw the video in here. If you play in the NFL, your, your injury rate is 100%. The chances of you get injured are about 100%. He's the winningest coach in South Carolina history. Got a picture on the stadium over there that's 180 feet tall. You don't do that by winning three a year. You got to win some games. Please welcome head coach Steve Spurgeon. Today is uh, try to give you guys some good individual fundamental stuff. Fundamental stuff that hopefully you can go back and, and use at your high school uh, when you play this year. And hopefully we can get to know some of you guys and maybe start recruiting you and you'll be a Gamecock one day. Who knows? But uh, let's have some fun out here. You guys show us what you got and we'll try to put you through some good paces. And uh, we'll have a good time out here, okay? So I'll turn it over to Coach Sands. Uh, how's everybody doing this morning? Good. All right. One thing I want to talk to you guys about. Missing your goal by 18 inches, okay? In Romans 10 and 9, it says that if you believe in your heart and speak with your mouth, you will be saved. The average man's heart is 18 inches from his mouth. The key there in that verse is believe in your heart. Speak with your mouth. Now, this relates to football because a lot of guys say that they want to be great. A lot of guys confess with their mouth their greatness. What I say I'm going to do, I got to get it done. Behind closed doors, nobody knows what's going on but me. But if I believe, I'm going to produce some fruit that shows that I believe. I know everybody falls short. But God knows where our heart is. And if we put the work in, we'll have an opportunity to be successful. My name is Kobe Burch. I go to Orange High School. Is the camera right here? Oh, I go to Orange. My name is Kobe Burch. I go to Orange High School. I'm currently coming to the University of Wisconsin. Um, I'm like, I haven't got my, AC, my ACT score back yet. On the SAT, I made a 1300. Uh, I want to major in sports management. Yeah, yeah. That's it, Pat. I'm Gabriel Beal, I go to Iowa, 17, got 36, 24 in the ACT. I want to major in pre med to be able to be a surgeon, and college is on the side right now. You got any choices? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that pre med. I'm Nico McMillan, I go to Dr. Phillips High School. Um, I'm currently, uh, I'm currently um, on the ACT, got 18. I have 3.1 GPA. Um, I want to minor. I want to minor in business and major in sports medicine. And what class you in? Class 2016. Okay. And colleges. I currently have no office right now, but I'm being patient and just doing my thing. What choices would you have? If you had uh, choices I have. Um, like we just went to Clemson. I like Georgia and I like um, West Virginia. Cool. Yeah, I tell you what, I appreciate all these guys coming up on the golden ticket. I mean, it's uh, they all came out here, they all competed. We got a really good look at all these guys, and they each one of them helped themselves. And I advise anybody out there in that in in, in the Florida area to get on that bus and come up here and come to our camp, so we have a chance to work with you, evaluate you, and teach you at the same time. Thanks so much, Coach. You bet.